Brian Hernandez here with Mashable. Joining me today is Cory Booker, the mayor of Newark, New Jersey, and one of the most beloved politicians on Twitter. Thanks for joining us, Corey. Uh, Brian, it's great to be here. Uh, so I wanted to start out with the fun fact. You have more than 1.3 million followers on Twitter, but the population of your city is what? It's about 285,000 people. So how does it feel to have that much reach online when you know your city isn't that big? Well, it actually helps my city. I mean, one of the things we came in and realized was our city had a brand problem. And now having over a million people, and often you know, we can have tweets that go out to 12 million people in terms of consumer impressions, having that many people have a different view of Newark, have a more intimate view of Newark, have a more positive view of Newark is nothing but helpful. And as a result of, I think, our brand work, our real substantive work on the ground, this is the first time in 60 years Newark's population hasn't been shrinking. It's actually growing now. We're having a big population growth and investment is coming in. Our tax base is growing. So I think a lot of this has to do with the totality of our efforts, part of which is, is on social media. Great. Social media has played a big part in the way your politics have influenced the city and how other politicians are using social media now. Um, but aside from that, we have digital and technology and big data. Um, in the future, how do you plan to use that to enrich your city or um, use it, uh, use campaign points in future uh, political endeavors? Well, we're just starting to explore ways of transforming government and bringing it closer back to the people. And I've watched around the country other people who are opening up data sets and letting people get at them. And it's almost what I see is, it's going to happen in the future from government being up here talking down to people or having the sort of um, vending machine model. I give you my tax dollar, you give me what I want. Well, that's not how you solve problems. In fact, that's not how the private sector solves problems, nonprofits, uh, neighborhood groups. That we need to get back to this collaborative focus of problem solving where we're peers, government and, and, and uh, people in the community and businesses all working together to solve problems. So think about this. Um, government created satellites circling the globe and it was this one company, uh, Keyhole, that was looking, using government data, streams of information, to focus on points in the earth. And Google saw that as a great opportunity, so they bought that company, and now using government streams of data, they're able to create something called Google Earth. In New York, uh, there's all this data that's collected by their health department on restaurants. Well, somebody said, give me that data, and I'm gonna create this amazing app where now I'm gonna empower citizens uh, to be able to go to restaurants and know all the health data information that before they didn't have access to. So that actually has commercial value. It provides a resource to citizens. And remember, who does that data belong to? Who does the data of government belong to? It actually belongs to the citizenry, and we should make it open. So what I see in the future is uh, I now have become much more sophisticated in, uh, this is actually a true story, much more sophisticated in collecting data through something called Brick City Stat, like a comm stat for every city department. And I talked about it during my state of the city address, all these amazing management changes we've made, increasing the efficiency of our inspectors over 90% in terms of the quality of inspections and the number of inspections. And I came home and I got a, I got a, a tweet from somebody saying, hey, your, your, your website for your city stat, I was able to get into it. It's not secure. And at first I was like alarmed. I sent an email yeah. to my, my, uh, my, my, one of my staff members saying, secure that website, people are getting access to the data. And then I'm like, what am I talking about? <laughs> what is the problem that everybody in the city can't start seeing some of these vital statistics that I use to manage the city? So what I want to try to do in my last year and a half as mayor is begin to open up these data sets. And it's amazing what people can do. They can not only create services for their fellow um, citizens, they can help solve problems, but they also can create uh, economic opportunity, create companies and businesses based on that data to grow our economy, to grow our GDP.